Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner with over 13 years nursing experience, working in mother, baby, postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm perinatal mental health certified and maternal newborn nursing certified. Many women want to attempt a vaginal birth after having a cesarean section. Today we'll be talking to you about everything you ever wanted to know about a vaginal birth after cesarean section delivery. So click those like and subscribe buttons and stay with us. Vaginal birth after cesarean section. It's also called a VBAC. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. But sometimes you'll hear your doctor refer to it as a TOLAC, trial of labor after cesarean section. This is actually the process of attempting the vaginal birth, and if it's successful, you've had a VBAC. VBACs should only be done in a hospital that can perform an emergency cesarean section, and a VBAC delivery is not safe for a home birth. You might be wondering why you should even think about having a VBAC. For starters, there's no surgery involved. This means there's a shorter recovery time, less blood loss, a lower risk of infection. This also might help you avoid future C-sections which can have complications, including bowel and bladder injury, placenta issues, and possibly the, even the need for a hysterectomy. There are some risks associated with a VBAC. For starters, you might end up having a C-section anyways if your labor doesn't go well. There's also risk of blood loss and infection, but finally, the most serious risk is something called a uterine rupture. A uterine rupture is life-threatening. This is where the uterus tears open at the point of the previous C-section scar. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get our latest content. I'm sure you're wondering, will a VBAC be successful for you? Where well, there are a couple things that we take into consideration as far as a success rate. For starters, your chances are better if you've had a previous vaginal birth. You really can only have one cesarean section um, in your history with a bikini cut or that low transverse incision. The cut on your uterus also needs to be horizontal or side to side. The pregnancy that you have must be healthy and your success rate is higher if labor starts on or before your due date. Not all VBACs are successful. So what may make your chances worse of, for having a VBAC and possibly needing another cesarean section delivery? For starters, if you're past your due date or it's an induction, that's a, a big risk factor for having an unsuccessful VBAC. Additionally, if you are obese or if your baby is LGA, which is considered large for gestational age, also, if you have preeclampsia, or if it's been less than 18 months since you had your last baby. Women who are older than age 35 and women of races other than Caucasian all have an increased risk of an unsuccessful VBAC. I'm sure you're wondering, when is it not safe to have a vaginal birth after cesarean section or VBAC? So if you've had a C-section in the past and your incision was vertical, that means up and down, it's not safe to have a VBAC delivery. If you have a history of a previous uterine rupture, again, that's where the uterus opens up at the point of the C-section scar, it's not safe. Other surgeries that happen on the uterus that are not associated with pregnancy or childbirth may interfere, and complications like diabetes, genital herpes, and placenta previa all make a VBAC not safe. I hope this video has helped you learn everything you want to know about VBAC deliveries and whether it might be right for you. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get our latest content in pregnancy, labor, and early childhood parenting. Share this video with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.